So today was the first day I milked Mopsy after waiting a few weeks besides those first couple initial days. So I saw online on a video that some people just start milking their goats like the day after they have their babies and stuff like that. And I didn't really think to do that. I kind of wanted to wait and stuff like that just to give um, Cookie and Mopsy time to like bond, figure each other out kind of thing. Um, but I did milk Mopsy today and I got kicked a few times. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but, um, I am going to sit here and measure it and stuff like that. I'm not going to keep it. There's so much dirt, hair, and stuff in it. I'm just going to measure it, then toss it. I'm hoping that eventually I can start milking her, um, at least every morning and maybe go get a good, decent amount and stuff like that. Um, I'm also trying to figure out when to breed fern and Flopsy because I'm pretty sure that neither of them are pregnant or anything like that. Fern definitely isn't pregnant and she hasn't been any boy with any boys since we got her checked by the vet. So I'm pretty sure she's not pregnant now. Um, and as for Flopsy, I don't think she's pregnant. She hasn't shown any signs of like if she were to go into labor now because Today was like the last day of that like two week period I was waiting for and stuff like that um, for them because the boy Elliot had got in with all of them and so I just think it was Mopsy that got bred that time around and so I'm trying to think of how to get Fern and Flopsy bred. I'll, I'll kind of explain my situation here real quick. I have two pins, boy pin, girl pin, plus cookie, and um, I can't put Midnight and Elliot both in the girls um, because Midnight is not castrated at all, so he's still intact, and Fern is his mom. So I don't want anything with them two to happen because... First off, that's just weird. Um, second off, I don't want any inbred, like, weird goats or anything like that. So, I'm trying to think of how to put... So, I'm trying to figure out how to get Elliot and Fern and potentially Flopsy together and stuff like that without getting Mopsy um, pregnant if she were to get pregnant again since she's still feeding Cookie. But then also I don't want Cookie to get hurt by either Elliot or Midnight um, because Cookie is still little, little. He's barely probably like three weeks old. So I don't want Mopsy or Cookie to be near Elliot or Midnight. But I also can't have Fern and Midnight. So I only have two pins. So I'm going to have to like think of something. Um, so much for for doing the milk. It just spilled all over this counter. So I guess I'm just going to be guessing on how much milk there is. Like, obviously there's not that much. There's only a little bit in here. So I think this is some pretty thick stuff. I might just have to, cause it's not even, look at that. It's not even, <laughs> Not even going, there we go. Now it's gone through. Yeah, and it, it's not even, so it's through the cheesecloth, so I'm gonna take that off. But it's not through the other little section. There we go. Like I said, I just spilled some, I don't know if you can see on the counter right here. But that looks to be at least five milliliters and stuff like that so my guess would probably be about 15 milliliters maybe which would be a uh, probably right about here give or take somewhere in there so honestly I'm gonna start 
I'm gonna start milking Mopsy at least once in the morning now. Um, I'm definitely working on trying to get her to calm down a little bit when I am milking with her, milking her and stuff like that because she, man, she kicked up a fuss today. Um, I, I got kicked a few times. It wasn't too bad, thank goodness. Um, but I'm hoping to get her kind of more desensitized to me milking her and then and then same with eventually Flopsy and Fern. If I can get them bred here in the spring time-ish within the next few months maybe would be nice. Um, but we'll see. I mean they haven't even really shown any signs of like going into heat or anything like that. And I don't know if it's just because the way I have the pins they can't really see each other, kind of. I mean, if they were to both stand, like, right here, and it's hard to show. I'll show you later. But, like, it's hard to see each other if they're not standing in that particular spot right there and stuff like that. So, I don't know if it's just that or what. So, I'm definitely going to have to just maybe, like, put the boys in with, or at least put Elliot in with Fern and Flopsy and kind of just leave them in there for maybe like a couple weeks to a month or something and then separate them and stuff like that and then just see if they are pregnant at that point. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do about seeing how they, if they're pregnant or not without having to go to the vet every single time um we do have a truck and stuff like that but we don't have a trailer to put them in so most of the time we have to put them in the back of our uh pilot our honda pilot and that's just a little messy to be honest too much mess for what i want um but yeah so i'm trying to figure out something if you do have any suggestions on how I could see that they're pregnant without taking them all the way to the vet and stuff like that. Something I can just either order online that's not too crazy expensive or anything like that um, or can just do at home to figure out how they're pregnant besides them being with a boy. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I will definitely be showing more of my milk journey with Mopsy and hopefully I can get more my goal this year t is to kind of replace our our cow's milk with our goat's milk uh the cow's milk that we get from the store and stuff like that because i don't know i think it would just be nice to be able to kind of make that transition be more self-reliant that kind of stuff on like the land the goats that kind of stuff um but so I'm hoping that we can eventually, that's my goal, to replace what we drink out of cow's milk and replace it for goat's milk. Um, to give a rough guesstimate on how much milk we drink, we go through two gallons around two weeks. Like two gallons for two weeks, if that makes sense. Um, so I would hopefully like to replace that. And then that doesn't count also how much butter, cheese, sour cream, cottage cheese, all of that stuff. I would want, I want to learn how to make it and kind of replace it and stuff like that through getting the goat's milk and whatnot. So stay tuned. I'm excited.